with Keto Pal One Shot. In this one shot, we'll be talking about coconut oil and MCT oil, which is medium chain triglycerides. First, we'll discuss about co coconut oil, and then we'll discuss about the MCT oil. It is a ketone boosting ingredient that we've used heavily in most of my son's meals. First, we'll discuss about what it is, then we'll go over the controversial saturated fat and our personal opinions. Now the reason why most people on the ketogenic diet run into the coconut oil ingredient is because it, most of the MCT oil derives from the coconut oil. It could be anywhere between 30 to 75% MCT. So when you're adding the coconut oil in there, you'll do some kind of natural benefit to ketone boosting. Now in our case, coconut oil, you can find at any grocery store, or in our case, we go to the uh, very convenient Sam's um, bulk store, and we purchase our ketone boosting ingredient, which is the organic virgin olive. The stuff solidifies at around 75 degrees, so it's good for meals that have um, that are very liquidy because if, if you're having trouble trying to feed your uh, son or daughter a certain meal that is just too liquid that just it's just a, a liquid meal um, you might actually spill it everywhere so we found it best to throw a little bit of coconut oil as you can see none of it actually spills out now in terms of the bad we do know that coconut oil is extremely high in saturated fat now whether, whether you're um, reading a article arguing against saturated fat or for saturated fat, your dietitian will uh, still be on this side of of, uh, of saturated fat being harmful to your child, which it definitely could be. So we found it best to kind of limit the amount of coconut oil, and this is where the level carnitine plays in. Your dietitian will recommend a level carnitine to try to break down some of that saturated fat. So if you do plan on increasing the the coconut oil in your your child's diet. Uh, please tell your dietitian so uh, the dietitian could plan accordingly. Uh, when Ethan's seizures came back, we wanted to increase the amount of coconut oil in his diet. So we told the dietitian, and he increased the level of carnitine to try to combat the amount of saturated fat. There's an argument online stating that this is natural saturated fat, while the animal fat, which is saturated fat, is the bad type of saturated fat. Um, use your best judgment. You would want to start off your, your child with what we found out um, around 10 to 20 grams of coconut oil a day and from there uh, see how the blood the blood work turns out and uh, if your dietitian sees that everything is okay with the saturated fat then you can keep it at that level. If the, if the seizures are not controlled when you're doing that kind of amount of, um, if you're, when you're doing that that amount of coconut oil, then increase the coconut oil, and at that point, when you do a blood work again, tell your dietitian and see where the saturated fat level is. That many health organizations advise against the consumption of coconut oil due to its high levels of saturated fat, including the United States FDA and the World Health Organization, WHO. The way I see it is, regardless if the saturated fat is good or not, if you see it controlling your child's seizures, then it's probably just beneficial to keep administering the coconut oil because what, what ends up happening is uh, you're, playing, um, you're playing a roulette with your child uh, just because the saturated oil might be a little bit too high then um, you reduce it, but it increases his seizures. The seizures are much more dangerous than any saturated fat that, that you know, even though the saturated fat does harm to your child in the long run, uh, seizures can end it all in one sitting. So uh, play it by ear. Now, the way we found it is coconut oil, we do give it to him daily, and we've seen some benefits as into controlling his seizures as well as thickening up some of his meals. Um, since it's kind of hard to find something to thicken up, we can't really put any kind of rice in his meal or, or ground up a um, bread without weighing it. Now for the next part, MCT oil. We ran into the MCT oil about three months into the diet where 
we kind of had a hard time trying to boost his ketones up to the uh, 160 mark on his uh, test strips. So our dietitian recommended MCT oil. But if you want to and you, you need to uh, boost your child's ketones, then I would recommend the MCT oil first. You want to start with the MCT oil because it's going to boost your child's ketones. It doesn't require heavy amounts of digestion. In fact, it skips some of the, the process of the digestion and it goes straight into uh, energy absor absorption. Um, many patients in the hospitals that suffer from what it looks like here, malnutrition or malabsorption, um, normally get treated with MCT oil. And Post-surgery, they might even give you MCT oil because it's an easier way to digest the meal. Now, that doesn't mean that it's gonna not affect your child in some way. Um, it is harder on the stomach and it might cause cramps from the way my son seems to um, take from it is he gets a little bit more moody and we're th and uh, from what the dietitian told us is that it's harder on the stomach if you do decide to go to the MCT oil you would want to start with five grams a day and then work up to no more than 15 grams. Our dietitian was very strict on that uh, MCT thing. We started off with 30 grams. Now our son um, took to it pretty well, but after a while we could tell if we went above the 30 grams that he was having pretty much a bad day. And that was, that was we connected that to the MCT oil. So please um, take baby steps with the MCT oil. It does boost the the ketones because it skips a lot of the digestion it goes straight to energy absorption and when you go straight to the energy absorption it goes it cuts it in, it cuts in line pretty much and it goes in front of the carbohydrates when it starts to burn it so you'll get a boost of ketones so in conclusion if you're having trouble trying to boost your child's ketones uh, the best one to start would be with the MCT and the coconut oil there's benefits there's pros and cons to the oil one being that uh, MCT oil will definitely boost your child's ketones uh, to the 160 mark. The only downside is it is very tough on the stomach and it could give uh, cramps. You could cause cramps in your child. So start this really light. And if you want to go in a more natural method, then go through the coconut oil. It will thicken up your meal, your, your kids' meals. But there is a disadvantage whether you are for or against saturated fats. It will raise your son's your, it will raise your child's saturated fat levels. So if you have any further questions, please comment down below, subscribe to us so you can get more videos, and we'll look, to, we'll look forward to you on our next video.